The following is a presentation of the Black Hollywood Live Network, the first online broadcast network dedicated to African American entertainment. Hollywood redefined. From Los Angeles, California, streaming live thanks to Akamai Technologies, this is Black Hollywood Live, The Beat. Featuring the week's roundup and commentary on music news. Black Hollywood Live, Hollywood redefined. You're listening to Black Hollywood Live. And now, the host of Black Hollywood Live, The Beat. That'll work. What? No, I what? remember what? this. <laughs> I don't remember us coming into this last year. Buddy in the city. Are you guys, is this the Will Smith version? No. Oh my God, get jiggy with it? No. no. Where? Here we go. Party in the city where the heat is on all night. I the cannot the break is on. deal. Go to Bienvenido a Miami. <laughs> What up, y'all? It's your boy DJ Jesse Janity here in Steel for Black Hollywood Lives, The Beat. I'm joined by my queen, Miss Queen. What up, everybody? I'm in the building. And uh, you guys might have seen her before, heard her voice many times before, but it is the one and only triple threat, Miss Jay Nova. Hey, hey, Jay. Hi, Jay. She's so cute. Thank you for thanks, blessing girl, us with your personality. Oh, thanks. Thanks for having me. I'm really excited. <laughs> um, all right, so you have some cool projects coming up. Before yeah. we get into them, though, we got to talk about what's been going on this week in music. Right. Am I supposed to be like this? Like kissing it? Or? I do, no, I like, when chill. I do it, I like pretend I'm a uh, na- don't 90s you like R&B to kiss singer, it, so I like to talk like this, Jade. <laughs> don't you so like, like to kiss it? So like when I'm in like really intimate into conversation. Like like yeah. like but then normally just like right here is cool? Yeah, yeah. it picks you up. Yeah. Okay, cool. It's, it's just you do this for so long, you just feel like you want like to make love to the this, mic. Like this, like this. Hi, guys. I'm so happy yeah. to be here. And then the way it makes my bangs just kind of pop up. It's very Batman. Yeah. All right, so the Soul Train Award. Words. Did you check him out, Queen? I know she didn't. No, because I was probably what I was probably weird at your house or something. Queen, you have to see them. They I, were they were they were really I good. I saw some Honestly. clips. I, Jay, was it this? Not the one with J Lo. That was the, no, that's American uh, Music Awards. Yeah, I heard Erica yeah, Badu. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard Erica Badu murdered it. Yes, you she know did. what I'm saying. She I opened the she, show. I heard she opened the show. I, I heard she murdered it. She hosted. It. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. And uh, I thought she did really good. Not only did she host, she was associate producer. So wow, she really got wow. to be really creative with it. And it, I think it really showed. To me, this award show this year specifically really catered to the artist, I think. Absolutely. In the demographic of what the show is. For sure. There are times I watch certain networks that hold certain award shows <laughs> that have a certain name, and I just be wondering. But I felt like the Soul Trains really delivered soul. It was uh, great. About time. They had a soul cipher. I just have to get this out there. Ooh. It was <laughs> so awesome. It was Chrisette Michelle, Casey, which... Uh, Layla Hathaway and Eddie <gasps> Levert. Cleveland! I'm from Cleveland. Hey. Layla Hathaway. Yeah. Wow, Layla Hathaway was doing Bitch. that? Bitch. And they did, like, you know, on the BT Hip Hop Awards, they do the cypher? cypher. Yeah. They did a soul version a of that. A vocal cypher. And then, yeah, and then what? Erica jumped in at the end. I suck. Okay. You I, have to I, watch I, I it. I suck. I can go and I can pull. I don't know. I just don't know where to begin. But I suck. I suck at watching award shows because it's boring as fuck to me. DVR it and then fast forward through all the boring stuff. True. True. Mm. That's True. that's what I do. I, I always watch on, it a day later. I should have been on my Soul yeah, Train I, shit. Like I just I watched can. it yesterday so I could just... Yeah. Okay. Catch what, up I, what, what did you like about it? Oh my goodness, I loved I loved Erica Badu. First of all, I was so excited to see her in that element because I've always listened to her music, but I've never really seen her in action like that before. And I feel like it it just gave us a chance to to see who she is as a person, as an artist, as a creative. Like you said, she had a, she was really hands on with the awards, and I, I loved it. She is everything. And for the younger generation to be able to have her in your face mm-hmm. like that, it was, I thought that was a really good yeah, treat for them. Yeah, for sure. Um, all right, so the big thing that's coming out of the Soul Trains, of course they have to have some sort of stunt or negativity, is Erica Badu picked up the phone on stage <laughs> and called out Iggy Azalea. She did. Um, basically saying she's a bad influence on rappers and that she is invited to the show, Soul Train, because what she does is definitely not rap. 
So they didn't invite her. So she was invited so, to the Soul Train Awards because she's a she's not a rapper, so she can come to the Soul Train Awards. Right. Because basically she, she was go to saying the this is about or, singers, so yeah. oh. no rappers are allowed. And then basically when she had that conversation saying that she is welcome, it's insinuating that because technically what you do isn't rap. That's what she. So okay. So back. basically, at the end of the day, my feelings are count are accounted for. Yeah, I just I, think it's a little too late. I'm not tripping. I know, but I just I'm think it's tri- a little too late. Why is it a little too late? Because it's like, she's, no one been talking about Iggy Azalea for the past... Exactly, she's hiding right now, but obviously I like so the way you, Erica... So Erica Badu just gave her relevancy. No, not really. It just shows how whack she is and how everybody oh. has that same <laughs> feeling of how whack that bitch is. That's fine. Oh um, she's whack. <laughs> Keep your I, ass I don't know. She's black. She's black. NYC in the building. Black. <laughs> I just look that at it like. That bitch is fugazi. Erica is a legend to me, and yeah. to even be bringing someone who well, has she only just been had around to embarrass her in front of the in front of the peers. I mean, I don't you know invited if that's to what the Soul Train Awards. We do singing. Please don't go to the BET Awards or anything that have to do with rapping because that's not where you belong. Well, I would think that there's some rappers and some soul singers who are claiming to be soul singers out there that she could say the same to. Versus someone who but hasn't been doing it. But at least for... they're doing it in their own voice. Uh, girl, bye. Um, Fuck that bitch. So anyways, the other thing that energy. came out of this is uh, her, her counterpart, Andre 3000, said that Love Nicki that. Minaj that. is the worst that. rapper of May all time. May 28th. May 30th. Yes. Oh, sorry. Taurus? Gemini. Gemini. Did you miss this Second whole Gemini. awesome Gemini. moment? What are you? I'm, I'm doing the show, sorry. Uh, oh. He a hater. Oh. Uh, he hater. must be a cap He's a hater because the, no. the last girl who was here, um, remember we was talking about nasty stuff? What's her name? The white pretty girl, but she's a dope-ass hip um, hood rapper. Oh, and we both found out we yep. were Geminis. I was like, are you a Gemini? You was just a hater because the Geminis no, fucking rock. I grew up with all Geminis. You're awesome, then. <laughs> You're an honorary I know gym. how to handle y'all. Um, all right, sorry, so sorry about moving that. moving past from that, we have The Wiz, which yes. will be airing tomorrow. Super excited for this. Um, and really just a key point here is that I read this article. They really wanted to, because I was a little questionable why Queen Latifah was The Wiz. Mm-hmm. Um, she produced it, didn't she? Well, yeah, but I mean, we've always been known that the Wiz is this older man, right? So they came out to say that they changed some things in the script for this one because they really want to give a different face of power. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So they yes. wanted to take Queen Latifah and put her in this role, and they said, just as the uh, the Wiz was a man, the Wiz is a female. She mm-hmm. had trouble with her husband. She went away. She found the Bland of Oz, and here she is. Yeah. I even like how I even like how they portrayed Izubo. What's her name from Orange oh, is the from New Orange Black? Is the Black. Oh, yeah. She's Glenda. She's Glenda the, wi- yeah. the, the Good Witch, mm-hmm. and they have her looking very pretty. Mm-hmm. And I'm happy that they did yeah. that because they could have Ste- tight cast her, type cast her, and mm-hmm. kept her in an ugly role. But they could have made her uh, was it Res- Respucia? R- Respucia. What is this? Norbit or the Wiz? Oh, so there <laughs> What's her name? Uh, Eveline. Uh, uh, Eveline. 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 Yeah. <laughs> Res- how you doing? <laughs> <laughs> All right. No. Uh oh. Eveline. I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I also saw like a little bit of Mary J. I'll wait till tomorrow and we'll comment next week. But I don't know how I feel about Mary J. Blige as that character. I think, he sips his tea. I think I didn't honestly, I think I think for this to be a black cast role. And for all of those people to come together to do this, this right here is an awesome thing for the new generation. Agree. And this will be their tradition. Because for us, our tradition was, oh, shit, the Wizard of Oz in The Wiz with Diana Ross. That was the thing that we always looked at. But now I think that this will be the next generation's trend. Um, What is it called? Um, like I said, uh, tradition. 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 So every time they know Christmas is coming around, they know that the Wiz is going to come on. So I'm, I'm kind of excited that these people will be pinnacles in um, the, the next they generation. They did a good job as far as getting really notable people. Yeah, Stephanie sure. Mills. Stephanie mm-hmm. Mills. Common, Neo, Com- bam. Yeah. I'll be watching. Make sure you guys check it out on NBC tomorrow For sure. night. All right, Beyonce <laughs> and Coldplay, they just did a... Um, well, it's not a duet, even though it's featuring Beyonce. But yeah. um, Coldplay said this is not a duet. It's just Beyonce kind of humming on in a little bit. She yeah. does a little ending, a little, little feature at the end. Um, but the coolest part about this song is that apparently Beyonce came in and recorded this in and five bounced. minutes. Oh, 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 o
She's a professional. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she does. She probably she probably practiced the lot, practice already knew what she was going to do. They probably gave her the beat and stuff ahead of time. She walked in and busted down. I don't blame her. Don't and waste Cole no play, time. That's that's Beyonce's booze right there. They're huge though. Yeah, they're huge. I that's love huge Chris Martin. I feel like Beyonce's been doing this a lot recently, where she is kind of secretly hopping on other yeah. people's projects. Yeah, there was this one song. Um, what was it Ocean? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, it was dope. I, I loved love it. That song. Yeah, yeah. She's and aging. Beautifully. Beautifully. <laughs> no, <laughs> seriously. She, I was just about to say, look at her fucking mother. She's, yeah. oh my no, goodness. Oh. So, uh, whatever they're drinking, I would like to. Children's blood. Veg. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I heard Blue Ivy's also okay. on the album, too. I, have you heard the song? Coldplay did a, 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 a song with Blue Ivy. Get out oh, of really? here. Yeah, for the album. I don't even know what that means. I didn't know Blue Ivy was, was already singing, but apparently. Maybe it's like, you know, when like Erica did her mixtape and how she recorded it in the bedroom. like, And you can hear, like, what's her kid's name? Seven? Right. Seven is a grown ass man right now. Huh? Seven is a grown but ass man. He'd be living the there. Time. He might be in the back, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> he, she has her daughters and stuff like that, but cool. Boom. Um, all right, moving from that, uh, another Beyonce situation is Miss Farrah Franklin. I watched this really interesting I interview like Farrah with Farrah. Really? Farrah follows me on Instagram. We always talking back and forth. All right. I mean, no shade. I absolutely, I'm like, probably, I absolutely love Beyonce, you know, but I well, do. Well, we can talk, you can like one but person. But I do like, but I do like. I mean, I understand like, what the beehive be doing. I do doing, like but. Farrah Franklin. Actually, if she comes to L.A., I would love for her to come up here. And um, she claims Beyonce is a liar. So what? I mean, I would love for her to come up here, too, because she'd be spilling all the tea. I she's love her. Like, she's beautiful. So she was in the group for, like, six months, and. Yeah. Do you remember when they did like the diary on MTV yeah, back in the day? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she was on it, and yeah. it was the end of her. Well, she was like, that was very edited. She was like, they made it seem like I couldn't show up to work. They basically weren't telling me what days I should be meeting them places. Mm -hmm. I was super sick. Nobody called me for three days, which doesn't happen in Destiny's Child. Mm -hmm. You talk to people every, every two hours. Yeah. She was like, Michelle didn't know that I was sick. Kelly didn't Michelle know I was sick. And then they were like, well, we just feel like you should just sit out and so it's a longer conversation that you guys can check out so i think it's with uh, evo uh, was that 90 uh 92 new york dj evo? hot 97 hot 97 bam thank you um <laughs> so check you. that out and um i don't know what are you guys thinking do we think like fair might be oh, she kept it cool she you... kept it cool with everybody she said she's cool with michelle or she's cool with kelly when they see each other they're cordial and I don't know. I don't. Is it a little Illuminati? Oh my no, God. I don't think Illuminati was even relevant that much relevant back then. What I think it is, is Illuminati it, been relevant since the pyramid. The blood of Jesus, number one. <laughs> second of all, <laughs> second of all, Give me in my Jesus' name, back. we're not giving them none of that power in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. Anyway, I honestly, sorry, I honestly believe it's, it was the Father doing. Um, um, how you call it? What do they call it? When he's cleaning up stuff. Damage control? Damage control. Mm. <clears throat> I think his, that was some Mr. Noel shit. Because at the time, you know, he was still a manager. and But he's the reason why they were, so, they were so big. I think that was some damage control shit, really. Because Farrah probably, they probably made her sign mad papers. Who knows? Could Who Beyonce knows? have been Beyonce if there were four girls in the group? No. Yes. Really? Yes. Mm, I yes. mean, Beyonce could have, but could have Destiny's Child grow, um, been as big as they were as DC3? Probably not. I just think Why it would have been though? different, though. How? It would have just been different. The vibe would have been different. But I love Writings on the Wall. Woo! I'm still listen to it right now. What you think, cutie? I think that her, I don't think there was anything that could have diminished who she would have become. I just think that Five girls, six girls, Beyonce was predestined yeah, to be Beyonce. for who she is. Yeah. I think that, I mean, of course, and it's a part of the story. I think that it did make for good, you know, a good story, yeah. the whole. And then with Survivor, it, it, it gave it life, and it gave it that whole element of it being a part of losing the other member and losing the right. other two members. And, you know, so it was a great story, and it did help, you know, catapult her eventually going into her solo career. But I think that she would have been... She Beyonce, would still be Beyonce, no matter of what, because she's she's something like she's a she's, she's a rarity. Awesome. And you industry. are a huge Beyonce fan. I had a chance to fan. meet her. I Thank am. You, Jesus. you uh, have <laughs> a lot of people know you because you do uh, Beyonce 
impersonations. impersonations. I do do Beyonce impersonations. I saw one where you were playing Beyonce's hidden sister. Oh yeah, Keyonce Bowles. Keyonce Bowles. <laughs> yes. Where does the inspiration come? Uh, where did the inspiration come to want to impersonate Beyonce? Well, I it, I can get very long winded as you probably know already from our previous <laughs> conversations. But long story short, um, I started out writing. So I would imitate other artists when I was demoing the records for them. And that's how I kind of found out that I could do different voices, different characters, singing or talking. And when I started creating my album, um, Keyonce was one of the characters that we created for the project. And uh, my producer, Devin Johnson, and I were like, we should do a visual for this character because it's really spot on and a lot of people don't know that you do it. So we shot a video at telling this <laughs> untold story of Keyonce Bowles and why you've never heard of her and who she is. And she's basically the long lost twin. They were Siamese twins separated oh at birth. Oh my God. And Beyonce got all the talent. And then Keyonce was just, you know, left with, you know, Beyonce's beauty and voice. But she just <laughs> can't sing at all. <laughs> so that's just how it happened. And it just ended up, it, it was virally successful and it was great because, you know, people got a chance to see the whole comedic side of my artistry, but then it also brought them to the music. So I'm, I'm happy with the Keontae character and where it's gone. And Keep her alive. Keontae, she's, she's staying alive. And, and it's funny because I, I actually want to say we've played a video of yours before. I think it was about a year or two wow. ago the Rihanna Diamonds cover yeah and that's funny because it's it's as I was like looking up stuff on you I was like oh, wait I've totally I think we've played this video wow, before that's so awesome. and uh, Rolling Stones yeah. had gave you a shout out for that they too did. right we um we well all of 2012 really um yeah, I was doing years. covers of popular songs and my style of music is like a fusion of musical theater and R&B so my producer would reproduce these covers that people were you know used to hearing and changing it sonically to fit this whole theatrical vibe so Diamonds was one of the ones that we did and it ended up being the most virally successful I think it's gotten about 14 million views mm -hmm. and like you really? said um I'm probably Rolling sore Stone shit. and yo can y'all pull up can y'all pull that up what how do we find it well we're going to we're going to Play, we're gonna play it uh, elsewhere because we're gonna pull up another video okay. before we pull that one up. Um, I need to see that. Don't leave so me in the fucking dark I and I don't know what y'all talking about. <laughs> I'm sitting here looking like an idiot. No. Well, boo, no. maybe if you did your homework. I don't, oh, want, I don't like to do homework to on a guest. I like to, I like to write. I'm yeah, Thank you, I'm with you, Jim. All right. So, um, <laughs> he a hater. <laughs> speaking, so you're, you, you've written for many people before. I've written. Um, speaking of that, in the news, T Pain uh, just came out. He sat with Larry King and he said that he's tired of making hits. What? I'm tired. He said, I'm tired. Which, what's yes. the context? Give me the no, context. No, 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 right. Because when I read that, I <laughs> was like, Did he say, I'm tired of making hits? I'm ready to make awesome, awesome hits. Like, there right, has to be more to that because right. I couldn't imagine anyone being tired of doing making what they Making hits, love. right. Well, I think he's, well, he, he said he's tired of making the hits that he's been making. He feels like he hasn't been making songs that feed his soul. Everything hmm. that you've heard from him is something that he had to do for someone Got else. It. And he loves, he, he loves it and it's great. He's just done. He so wants he to means feed himself. hits in a sense of what's acceptable by radio standards. Oh, yes. I understand. like so, track music. Got it. Or just demit, or I just mean, watering down right. what he could potentially do just to get radio play. Yeah, I love TP. He came into the uh, um, auto tune situation and yeah. writing and working with other people. And he wants to really focus on himself. And as you said, as a writer, you had to kind of create these little voices for the yeah. people you're writing for. How do you? Is it hard to work on yourself as an artist when you're creating for others? Creating for others, mm -hmm. and it, did you have to create the voice to kind of almost separate it from your work? Yeah, for sure. I mean, just when you're writing with someone specifically in mind, it's always good to to keep their aura and, and voice in mind. But I think in the beginning, because my artistry, like being a solo artist, wasn't initially the plan, so I didn't really have to deal with that um, conflict. Because once I started working on my stuff, I just stopped writing for other people. I just 100% focused. So it was never a conflict since I never did them simultaneously. But yeah, I mean, I, I guess there were times, because I have written a few things with people in mind since then, and I've ended up keeping the songs for myself. Really? <laughs> yeah, so I guess in that sense, there's there's a bit of a conflict, but yeah. Um, so a couple mixtapes dropped this week. Uh, well, and uh, wait, last but you week. didn't ask my opinion about T Pain. What's your opinion about T Pain, bitch? Girl? I'm sitting here too, <laughs> nigga. Girl, you be need to speak All right, up. Look now, now my opinion about T Pain is that I have nothing to say. We I can't. Continue. <laughs> oh my goodness. 
Sorry. Where's Jay Watts? <laughs> right. The, the ad lib king. king. <laughs> um, all right. So mixtapes. We have, but you can't use my phone, Miss yes. Erica Badu. Did you check the mixtape out? I Maybe. haven't. Yo, I, I mean, will. I'm a from fan. From the intro, she she basically remixes a whole bunch of songs throughout the past forty years. The intro, she uh, is twirl. Ooh, what do we got here? Um, all right, she's basically twirl. Uh, we we start off with the Tyrone opening suite. Ooh. Okay. We get a Drake hotline blink. Y'all did not bring me some paper with marker. I'm gonna get high off I'm this. I'm sniffing it. I keep going like this. Yo. Oh, the Sharpie. You like, I kind of like, like the smell of Sharpies. No, I do too, but I'm just saying like... All right, oh, now let's... One, one really let, we're going to smell this, and then we're going to listen to <laughs> Erica Badu's album. We'll be back after these. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, all right, so she dropped that. Um, Hello, It's Me with Andre 3000 also oh, on there. I'm excited to hear that. I'm, I'm fans of both of them. They got to still be fucking, though. <laughs> I would never let that dick go if that was She my loves her new... She loves her man, though. So, Electronica? Jay, Electrona. Every once in a while, though, I'm going to let him smell it or something. <gasps> 3,000? That Gemini freak? Hell Gemini, yeah. Gemini, man. Shit, yeah, yo. Uh, all right. She'll be cocked open just like that while he's sitting at the chair like, hey, yo. What's, what's She'll be like, I know. That's a dope cover, though. That's a dope-ass cover. That's dope-ass dope. ass cover. Yeah. Um, all right, we got uh, Chris Brown dropped a 34 track before the party. Really? 34 tracks? Boom. What, a mixtape? 34? In addition to the project the royalty? Well, no, no, he didn't drop royalty. Right, I'm saying, but in addition, like that's nothing to do with that. He just dropped nothing 30... to do with it. Just wow. for the fans, that's royalty awesome. comes out on the 18th. Um, well, 34 tracks uh, all together, but this this uh, before the party specifically does not have all of those. But um, there's a video, "Fine by Me," which we were gonna play. I'm not going to play it because our homegirl, Lyrica Anderson, dropped a video instead. We got to represent for Lyrica, friend of the show. What up, Lyrica? But before we do that, Come I have on, to say... Why we got to do everything before, before, before? You bring <laughs> Shout out to it. happy birthday you to Trey Songs and dropping his mixtape, this rude bitch over here. You, you, you bring us I'm here. I'm telling Trey when you he comes in. You bring us here, then I'm you throw Trey it away. That. You bring us here, then you throw it away. Then you bring us here, then you throw... I don't want to be... I want to know about it now. All right, here's Lyrica Anderson, y'all. Selfish, because this bitch being selfish. <laughs> Great segue. <laughs> Let's take a listen. Selfish. I've been playing that album back to You're back. the only one I talk about, I think about. I'ma pour me one more drink while I think about it. Last night it was all on me, I put your lights out. I'm still laying in these sheets with one leg out. Boy, bring me that love. She needed beard. some big muscle tatted up nigga with a low Caesar with the little half moon. Y'all, please forget Queen. It has been a while since she's <laughs> had some. And it's day one of my period. Let's really put it out there, okay? <laughs> so I'm extremely horny. I'm aggravated. I am hungry. hungry tired. Tired. And I am having a girl moment. And I need things when I need it. When I need it. Yeah. Thank you. That's how All it goes. right, well, let's go into the second. Uh, <laughs> before we get into can I can I ask her her opinion before yeah. we, you're scaring me, Queen? What about the first What did you day? think of that, that video, Jane? <laughs> oh, nice. Lovely. Were you into the the song at all? I mean, it was kind of I didn't get to hear everything. I didn't get to hear it. I'm going to have to listen to it. I'm going to have to check it out. Make sure you guys check it out. Lyrica Anderson, she just dropped her uh, latest project, Hello. Hello. Download it. Check it out. Um, next, from Love and Hip Hop. Lil Fizz. Well, he dropped the Lil, and he's going by Fizz. I and like the song Fizz. is called Aww, Good Lotion. He's all grown up. Mm, sort of. Let's take a look. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> I want him to be successful. He's a great dad. 
And I love like his big love. too, though. Can we turn that up a little bit, please? All I need is you and that good love. I'm in hell in your Vicky's secret. Girl, I love it when you looking decent. Good love. Good love, girl. You stay cause and come out. Especially when you not getting that good love. Girl, I can't tell if I'm falling for you or you falling for me. Just know that I'm falling, so tell your old nigga he out of his league. I never fall for it anyway. I just be falling asleep. As soon as you tell me I love you, that's when I fall out of reach. Don't even know what be happening, I'm fucking bitches on accident. Falls on my way to the studio, then I met you, now I'm having it. Man, I do numbers. I swear every summer's a mask of names, I ain't even asking them what I'm just calling them. Guess I'm just calling them passengers. Riding shotgun to the cops come, throw a case at me, then caught one. Puss Boom, good lotion. Good lotion. Were you into it? Would you dance at the club if pop if it came on? Crickets, 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 <laughs> crickets, crickets, crickets. Um, right. what does it mean? Crickets. Cr well, so here's well, no, the thing. no, no, no shade at all. I guess we didn't get to the hook like right. the second time around. So, so good I didn't... lotion. He's selling a product. Like he has an actual lotion out in his penis. No, no. Well, I mean, I, yeah. <laughs> Yes, he lotion, has that. Good but lotion. That's the good lotion. The proteins. But yeah. he actually has like an actual product. So like, this, it's it's. So it's, it kind of interties. Yeah. What's the name of his lotion? Good lotion. You know what good lotion means uh, in real life. Uh, yeah. Well, then that's great Penis cross promotion. Lotion. Using your talent. Very smart. To promote your 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 lotion. Uh, honestly, if you want to know my truth. Yeah. Why would I, <laughs> bitch? I don't have you. Come up in here, lie to me. I, I love enough. you, Fizz. I love you, Fizz. But no. That auto tune shit is lame. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. That, that was style thing. does not fit you. I think you need to go back. I need you to leave that to the to the Migos. boys down south, Migos and um young all oh uh, yeah, Young Thug and all of and Young hum, Rich Homie Quans and shit. Leave that to them, yo. You should have came out with something a little different. That I'm gonna dumb, like that shit is dying out like. First of all, you mad cute. You I appreciate had, your honesty. Yeah, he's mad attractive. He could have came <laughs> out with something different instead of auto tuning. You don't need to auto tune your shit. That shit is whack. That's what bothers me is like I'm this sorry. is your comeback. You're on the one of the this number is one the reality best day shows. To get the truth from Queen, honey. Okay, I'm day here one. for your truth. I'm I'm so glad <laughs> you're, you're with your honesty. That's, that that shit is lame. That shit is whack. I wasn't expecting that from him. I was expecting maybe a Marion jump on a song with him. Do a little background, yeah. some slow singing well, type shit, and then let charity you gotta deal with himself. Fizz is mad sexy. Fizz could have been mad smooth on a beat on some LL Cool J shit, and the bitches with the three panties. But now you come in with some. I don't know. That don't even fit you. You're not even from the place you not even from the place these this fucking sound come from. I just think it's a team situation with him. I think he needs a better team who needs to say to him, "Look, the love and hip hop thing ain't a good look for you. You got your fan base back, so let's pull back from that and let's work on some good music." No, he's gonna stay on love. Well, he and has good lotion though. He has yeah, good yeah, lotion. He's gonna stay on love and hip hop. <laughs> At least he ain't ashy. He <laughs> has to stay on love and hip hop because he's an amazing dad. And then no. that thing with him and Moniz, that is a great. Um, mm -mm. It's gonna start to it's cool right now but it's gonna start to turn into something sour they will use him for something else they mm. will they will switch like they he will looks corny right now screwing the damn plastic girl and then he over here is screwing he's screwing all these girls calling them appetizers and stuff it's like okay well you're a good dad but if you had a daughter and I know he apologized for that but still you still out here and you acted a whole role he's on this being. season I understand. What that. nigga out here ain't sticking a dick in multiple pussies though? Let's really discuss it. Let me smell y'all dicks right <laughs> now. How many how many times have y'all dicks been a different pussy? <laughs> sorry. All right. <laughs> sorry. But first, I'm first day that's of the period trend. queen. Okay, sorry. Yes. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah. All right, go let's home. go to New York on that one with Miss <laughs> Tink in her latest video, Medicine. She remind me of um Remy Ma. Really? Like she look like her a little bit. Doesn't she? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Sounds different. That's what I appreciate. That's the difference between everything today. She's the new Warren Hill of 26, 2016, kid. Just bitch, listen to that voice. Boom. Tink, medicine. Nice. That's fun. So we're like all a fun it? video. Tink is the fucking Lauren Hill of the new millennium. The bitch sings good and rap good. She's the new. She has next definitely in this industry. She has next because she's unique. She sounds different. She's not trying to be like everybody else. She's like just that. trying to be in in her own fucking her own her own thing. Yeah, for sure. For sure. What do you think, Jade? Being a singer, and she's jamming. No, I, I, yeah, I enjoyed it. It was it was refreshing just to hear something different and a unique perspective and creativity and a fun visual and just not the same kind of. Oh, I'm just naked. Yeah, naked. My <laughs> it's booty. nice to see clothes and yeah. Well, <laughs> no, and, and here and here something refreshing. I, yeah. I enjoyed it. I'm definitely gonna get listen into to some more. Yeah, yeah, sure. That's why I told her no matter what video you before you're about to click, you don't know what you're gonna get. I like the fact that when before she before she showed her face, she dropped multiple songs. So you when you think of Tink, you're hearing Tink singing. You're yeah. hearing, you're like this bitch is dope. Who well, is this? you're saying that as like. Uh, it, in because the mainstream you, media, mainstream but like mainstream. if you watched her her come up, some of her videos, you'd be like, "Girl, like." Let's yeah, but like it. in mainstream mainstream media, <laughs> like in mainstream media, because you know people judge you on on your image yeah. or whatever. So I like the they fact do. that she chose to throw out some good music. Because when I went to India, um, my friend who who went with me. He was playing Tink, and I'm like, who the fuck is this girl? I something and nothing, you were some something. I'm like, who is this girl? And he was like, Tink. So then I started listening to her stuff. I was like, she's dope. My visual in my head of what she looks like looked nothing like that. So I'm glad that we got to judge her on her music So basically you think Tink's ugly? No, I think oh Tink. God. No, I didn't say Tink is ugly. I'm what I said kidding. is Tink looks like a regular girl from around the hood but the way she sounds you wouldn't think she looked like that you'll think she's you know you think she's one of those curly hair girls and you know <laughs> they just gave you a chance to appreciate her appreciate art. her art the and way music used to be it, right? mm. because way. it used to just be like a picture of like a flower or yeah. something you didn't know what these the artists, artists look, look like. like yes jade you. you got an old soul <laughs> but let's talk about that old soul miss jade let's talk about you and your music all right what you want to know well, before we do anything, I feel like we just need to show Queen at one of your videos. Yes. Oh, shit. <laughs> you okay with his before now? Because can, can <laughs> Queen please see Miss Jade Nova's uh, <laughs> damn video, y'all? Because we don't need uh, her up here. Uh, well, this is just this an audio. That's the audio. That's not yeah, a video. Oh, wait. Okay. Well, actually, wait. Before we play the video, can we play, hear this? I want to hear this. Oh. This is. Adele. I know that face is beat. This is my cover, cover of Adele's Ooh, Hello. Them brows, honey. Oh, girl. <laughs> that was Ella Adair who did my makeup for that picture, shot by Alan Cooley. Yes, little Diana Ross homage. Yeah, that's what it's good. Yeah, I was looking yeah. at it. Yeah, definitely mahogany. Mm. And one thing. Hello. It's me. I was wondering if after all these years you'd like to be You better sing, girl. <laughs> go over everything. They say the time's supposed to heal you, but I ain't done much healing. Hello, can you hear me? I'm in California dreaming of a who we used to be. Worry Thank you. 
Jaden Nova's Hello Cover. Wow. Um, <laughs> and then as Queen is about to um, give her opinion here, can we pull up video five? It's uh, called Sh Show Out? Yes, Show yes. Out. Uh, but before we do that, Queen, what do you think? No, I want to see Show Out. All right, oh. we're going to watch the video to Show Out. <laughs> and I just want to say, before you press play on this, why I love this video is because wow. you this video, I went through all of them. But this video specifically, I just feel like you understand what it is to be an artist. Oh, what wow, thank you, 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 you channel God. you channel the characteristics. You're <laughs> oh. you're totally marketable. You're to, you have a great voice, thank great and personality, so, great Aww, personality, thank you, personable, thank approachable. God bless you. And this is her first day of her menstrual, and she loves me. Anyway. Yes, because you can do that. But you're a Gemini. You're always going to be personable because no matter how successful you be, you're always going to be true to who you are. So at the end of the day, it's all good. So big difference and between Virgos guy too. Virgo, uh, <laughs> guy <laughs> Gemini's, <laughs> guy Gemini's, and girl Gemini's. Big difference. Really? Big difference in May Gemini's. Big difference. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, I cannot see all this. All right. Here we go. Here we go. I'm in love with a new oh. person. Oh, she's so cute. Just watch oh, the story. Thank you. <laughs> watch the story. The story. They Fate invested beat. in the video. <laughs> they invested in the video, praise God. That's something that is important. There's only two. <laughs> Sometimes the people need some Woo! motivation. They're looking at you, so give them that was inspiration. A sick the music intro. is to be moved by you. So no hesitation, hit them with a the bone. Don't be afraid, cause everybody's staring. They wanna see what you're doing and what you're wearing. The spotlight is on, do so what you gon' do. Shred around like you got something to prove. This is your chance, go away. Life is a circus, the world is your stage. Come out, everybody's waiting for you. Show them how you do it, how you do it, how you do it. When the curtains open up, open up, up, up. Show them, show them how you do it, how you do it, do it. Boom! Oh. Jay Nova! Hey. Now I'm gonna go home and look her up. And that's the point, y'all. <laughs> Thank um, you. So, like, watching this, here's the thing about watching with mu music videos. I'm obsessed with music videos. Mm -hmm. And you have this essence of... She should be on Broadway. Ah, look. <laughs> That's, she I'm should be obsessed. doing a lot of things, which she's gonna be doing. Thank it's you. coming for you, definitely. I receive uh, it. But there's and something. Jesus, he he cuss. Hey, hey, he he. Hey. Sorry, sorry. Beyonce, <laughs> Beyonce, Britney Spears. They, these people have these entertainment value. When I yeah. watched that video, it just was. The entertainment, or the X factor that Britney has with the vocals that Beyonce has, the that cat, that character, the the fierceness, like you really deliver that in all of your videos. You need videos. to be on Empire, or uh, you thank need to. You. Sh obviously, you're an actress yes, as right? well. Mm -hmm. I think that is. I think this is going to be a very interesting um, career for you. I really believe that you are going to succeed tremendously but you will be acting a lot more i see her in like musical type shit like <laughs> this is amazing Ella, thank you i think you're awesome thank you i think y'all are awesome please stay who you are and uh, don't let nothing or nobody change you from oh, who you are absolutely not this journey has been very very long i don't i think it's too late to change at this point but, <laughs> and so, tell me about this tell me about I this journey her. with the specific I video yeah I would love to. what you, made you come up with that like well, how did it work show out is is um going to be featured on my album that'll be out next year mm -hmm. um and basically you hit the nail on the head i'm so happy that you all got the got the brand got where we're trying to go because i do act as well and i'm obsessed with musical theater so we just wanted to find a way to combine all those facets of my artistry um and so yeah my album tells a story from beginning to end it's actually a musical so when i perform it live it will be structured like a musical that is so great and you show out Dallas, you know, yeah. <laughs> yeah. that's what i do <laughs> but i'm sorry i strayed away from the question you asked me specifically about show out but show out is just one piece of the bigger story um so wrote, where does the story go oh my goodness the story and well actually i i've, I've seen background for a lot of artists yep. um i've seen background for rihanna eminem the guys from empire um <laughs> i just did tori kelly yesterday the ellen show comes on today oh, really? um and that's just a part of my journey and the album is is giving this 
fictitious account of my experiences as a background singer. Some of it happened, but of course, you know, satirical, you, you, know, you know, spice Lanisha it up Randolph? a little bit. I'm so sorry. You know this girl named Lanisha Randolph? No. Okay, go ahead. But you can tell me about her, girl. But, no, but yeah, she's but, same background for every fucking yeah. body. Yeah, anyway. But it, so the, just using that part of my story and journey and, 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 and telling that story through song. So it's just the, the story of a girl who started out as a background singer and got her, her break, and it just takes you on this journey um, behind the scenes of that experience and then her transitioning. And I say her because it's the character that mm-hmm. I'm playing in the album. But, yeah, and then, and then eventually finding fame and just all these things that come along with it. And, and you know, how you were saying, just... Um, compromising and, and, and making things like the whole T-Pain aspect of him saying he doesn't want to make hits or, or things like that just that struggle of you know staying trying to find a voice are. staying true to who you are and the comparisons of being a background singer and having to be told what to do because you're simply a vessel but then when you become an artist realizing that it's really that same reality you know as an artist when you do it in a traditional traditional sense of, of getting with a label and losing yep. your creative control and your musical integrity mm-hmm. and just that journey which is why I've decided to maintain um being independent for right now for that reason but in the album version I get this deal and you just have to hear the story and hear the story I can't so <laughs> I feel like because it just don't make sense to me why you are just not like all over the fucking place right oh, now thank you. but it makes sense because <laughs> and God, God and timing yeah, and everything and, and I feel like he protected you by putting Look. you in the position as a background singer Amen. to see that stuff and for Absolutely. you to really find your own voice that's you, yeah. man I'm, that's I was just having this conversation um, with my my producer Devin, he actually produced the song "Show Out" and wrote it along with me. But great um, job! But yeah, we were just saying how you know you want things to happen instantly. You think like, oh, why didn't this situation work out, or why didn't this person want me? But like you said, you're protecting it, and it, it, I'm glad that it worked out this way because it created the story. It created who I am mm. in, in my perspective, like even the writing aspect of the characters and then applying that to my brand now, it all just needed to happen in its time. So I'm not in a rush. I would rather go this way for longevity because things that come quick, they go, go just as quickly. That's true. So I'm I'm not everywhere yet, but I'm, I'm right where I need to be. You and sure is. Um, yeah, you know, you. I, on your website, it tells the story, your biography. Is What's the her story? <laughs> oh, Like once upon a time. Yes, and, and I love that because I feel like People are so afraid as they get older to keep this childlike, childlike keep their inner child, keep their inner child. I'm inner child, child forever. Correct, but <laughs> but a lot of artists, a lot of artists yeah. lose that because society, and not even just artists. I, I look at like uncles, aunts, people related to me. Yeah, you just go through life, and it kind of wears down. And it's like, well, wait, I have to be an adult today, so I'm going to yeah. be this person. Um, for you to be able to hold that inner child, that's a hard mm-hmm. thing. Being an entrepreneur in this industry, yeah. what's something for you that kept you to kind of keep pushing on and like, no, this is the dream, this is the life, this is what I'm meant I to be? I can literally because, see that playing. Like, uh, yeah. I can see that like on a stage. Oh, look, I, re- I receive it. I'm, I'm ready for it. Next year, it's, it's going to happen. I'm claiming it. We're in working, Jesus' name. We're working on like a Whoever one woman like show. Jesus, I'm sorry, but I do praise Jesus <laughs> in Nothing, Jesus' name. Hey, her worship is for real. <laughs> <laughs> but the thing that honestly kept me in that direction is just because there's a lack of it, you know, yes. and and that's no shade to any of the artists because you can pull inspiration from yeah. from from everything. Mm-hmm. But for me, I'm so passionate about young girls and giving them an alternative to this super sexualized mm-hmm. imagery we about uh, and, 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 and not relying so much on sexuality to sell music. Because sex is innate. Like, it's easy to be sexy because that's what we were we were made to be fruitful and multiply mm-hmm. we're sexual beings so it's just a lack of creativity because we rely so much on what's natural you know so to, to push it and to be funny it's okay to not be oh I'm so pretty all the time it's okay to be silly and but not like that but it was sexy story. when you just lifted your head up but, like that. when that light but when he hit don't, that sh- jacket it's like I was like oh that stop. Alexander McQueen yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no but, but seriously for me I, I, it, it is important to just give a different perspective to tell stories Michael Jackson used to tell stories like the the video made sense like it wasn't just like we were just I mean everything has been a great segue for what we're talking about which is why I've been holding it in and I'm so excited to talk about it now Mm -hmm. because it's true like storytelling is gone the art of storytelling the art of of being an artist that isn't like Barbra Streisand oh my gosh that Mm -hmm. is my oh did you ever know 
<laughs> so when her ability to just seamlessly. No, that's not Barbara. That's Bette Miller. Yeah, but okay. she's, I'm obsessed her too, with her yeah. too. Mechanical yeah. heart beaches, girl. You don't get me started. <laughs> but Barbara Streisand, she embraced her funny. That was her sexy. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? And for me, funny is the new sexy. And that's what I'm pushing is just that inner child like you said like artists young artists these days are in such a rush to grow up and i don't yep. understand yep. cuz i feel like there's so much more longevity in holding on to that innocence yep. yes. because you can connect the young kids are the ones who connect with you on that level mm -hmm. so when you disconnect yourself from the youth and start getting into that gray area where like you're too young for me to really fantasize about you sexually <laughs> cuz you look 10 right but then you're disconnecting yourself from the kids who want you to still be yep. there with them like i don't understand why that doesn't exist honestly so I don't know I'm, I'm gonna be with with theater the great thing is you, you can be, be anything that you want to be if I want to be an old lady today and I want to talk like a however I can do that you know and so yeah that's I will always hold on to that I mm. think you're awesome thank you girl and not because you're a Gemini but no you're that's extremely you. talented and thank now you. I'm gonna go home and look you up and literally go through your videos because obviously you have an imagination. Mm -hmm. That's what it is. Oh, thank you guys. You have an imagination. Oh, I love you guys. So, this is so great. She has thank an you. imagination. No. And she's no utilizing it. And she's utilizing and it controlling and controlling it. But see, but see, a, a case for what just happened in regards to music needing, music is dying, but it's hungry at the same yeah, time. Yeah, that's great. Adele. Three million albums. And Absolutely. she stuck with being who she really was. Absolutely. True, stay to her true self. So you stay to be who you are, yo. You're going to be all right. Thank you, Because people start looking at them when they get to a video like that and hear a voice that goes along with it. And it's like, oh. She's dope. You're These make this. This is actually what it's supposed to be. Wow. It's it's not a dinosaur anymore because that's <laughs> Honestly, I'll pull videos up and people are like, mm -hmm. I'm like, are you freaking kidding me? The, the year of the, the videos has been destroyed. Yeah, no, reality killed the video star. <laughs> no, I want to see her video of her singing. Uh, if you can pull up the Diamonds by Jade Nova. <gasps> oh. But Jade, tell me about your name, Jade Nova. Jade Nova. Where does that come from? Well, I just wanted to... And is this the character Diamonds. that you're Jade talking about? Jade Nova is, is, is a character. Um, it was just a way to kind of combine the two facets of who I am as a person. Jay, I'm I'm really into minerals and stones. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. I carry Jay with me, which is honestly where it came from. It's a nickname, but it's a stone that represents positivity and love, and that's the more theatrical, you know, poetic side of my art. And then Nova is an exploding star, yeah. so it's just more of the live, you know, in your face, comical aspect. So just those two juxtaposed together just kind of created a balance of what. My my artistry is in mm. a nutshell. So if you can't Jay find Nova. it, it's fine. And boom, it's Jay Nova. Jay Nova. I love her. I love you. I so, think all right. she's awesome. Uh album <laughs> next year. Yes, for sure. What else are we working on? Are we were are, are we gonna be seeing some more uh Beyonce clubs? Yes, Keyonce? For sure. Are we gonna be getting some <laughs> you know, uh, as Queen said, musical theater? Is that something she that you should be on a stage? Hands down. Oh, thank you. Well, I created this web series. Oh, that's not it. <laughs> <laughs> you'd, have, you'd have to look in YouTube. I created a, a web series called A Musical Theater, so to amuse musical theater. So it's combining comedy and music together. So it's almost like SNL sketches in a musical, like told through you song. You like do a year, the year in. Oh, you saw yeah, that? Yeah. Right, like that was one of them. So just the episodes just tackle different things that we all deal with and just finds the comedy in it, but it's told through song. Mm. So I'm transitioning that into a live show. So that's what I'm working on now is just combining all those things that I love to do, the impersonations, the comedy, um, the music, the covers, just putting it all together into this one woman show, which will also be called a musical theater. Mm. So in addition to the album, it will just kind of go hand in hand of telling the story of the album, but giving um, Nova Canes, as they call them, the fans. Have you ever have I you ever that. thought about doing it? Is that it? This is it right here. That is it. Oh. Oh. All right, y'all. Queen about to get her life. I need to see what's going on. Asking so received. Like a diamond. Diamond. Such a throwback for me. Shine like a diamond. Find light in the beautiful sea. I choose to be happy. You look good. Thank you. Oh! <laughs> 
I wasn't expecting that. Thank you. Thank you. You got a new fan. I think it was actually before you that we played this, before you came on the show. Uh, yeah, because I never saw it. Because I think you've only been here for a year. I'm trying to I've find out. I've been here for a year. BQ. Boom. Before Queen. Yeah. BQ. <laughs> There's no after. No, I'm kidding. Surely ain't. <laughs> no, um, I'm okay, she's so awesome. we're working on a musical theater. A musical theater. And so do we know when roughly we can check that oh, out? Oh, my goodness. Well, for now, you guys can go on to my YouTube channel. Just look up Jade Nova, J-A-D-E-N-O-V-A-H, and you'll see all the episodes um, leading up to when we finally get this thing on the road we're just it's in the conceptual stage right now but hope to be um, doing that next year as well but the album's definitely coming out and um you gotta come back I'm sorry. We're gonna oh, have I to would love we gotta to. Come back. Yes. Girl, we gotta have you do a musical theater right here. Yes, <laughs> do that. It'd be exciting. Um, all right. Well, Jade, where can everyone follow you on Twitter, Instagram? Ooh, I made it so easy for y'all because everything is Jade Nova. J a d e n o v a h. No Instagram, underscores Twitter. or nothing. Nope, I beat them to it. You sure did. Mm-hmm. No, Good. no little stars, nothing. Just Jade Just Nova. Just Jade Nova, the Everything only Snapchat. exploding star that's going to be hitting your TVs soon. Talented <laughs> girl. I'm looking forward to seeing what's happening in the near future. Thank you, Queen. Where can everyone keep talent. in contact with you, Queen? Hey, yo, you already know. Snapchat, Instagram, at Queen Wink. Twitter, at Queen Love. Yo, I'm yeah. in the building. This Boom. bitch got my mind fucked up. You're, <laughs> you're like really, really talented. Oh, thank you. And got a great spirit and energy. Uh, thank you, Jesus. Thank anyway, you. thank God she's Call not a fucking snob. Oh my God. <laughs> so after you guys check out and subscribe to Jabe on YouTube and follow her on Twitter and Instagram, make sure you guys check us out on Instagram at the Beat TV. Also hit us up at BHL Online on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. And keep in contact with me at DJ Jesse J. Till next week, peace. And let us know if you like Jesse's new haircut. I love his I hair. Love it. I I did it. I did it. You <laughs> <laughs> some good producers, looks. Maria Menounos, Dario Kristen, Tiana Hobson, Kevin Undergaro, and the entire BHL crew, we would like to thank you for supporting Black Hollywood Live, the first online broadcast network dedicated to African-American entertainment. For questions and comments, contact us at info at blackhollywoodlive.com. Like us on Facebook, tweet us, or Instagram us at BHL Online. And I'm your BHL announcer, Scipio. Instagram me at Planet Scipio. Thank you for tuning in. Keep putting on our it's music redefined. You like the views expressed here are those of the host only and do not necessarily reflect the views of BHL or its owners or principals.